to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Lord, I don't know how I'm going to do ministry. I don't know how to go about this. But I give you praise. I remember I say some of these things to encourage us. It's really no secret. I remember when God was preparing us to start the work here. One night I, w I just sat down and I was just praying. And then I kept quiet for more than 30 minutes. And there his voice came, the spirit of wisdom. The Lord made me to buy the map of Abuja. Just a map of Abuja. Nigeria, Africa, and the entire globe. And I bought all of them. And he said I should lay my hands and begin to pray and speak over it and speak over the territory. Divine strategies by the spirit of wisdom. And with that childlike behavior, you ask the forces over this territory what happened. A territory does not just open because you have something to say. There are controlling powers, but one manifestation of the spirit of wisdom can help to keep them where they belong. This is not in an arrogant sense. Some of you did not inquire from the spirit of wisdom. You went alone to start business. You had capital and all you did was to open a shop. Don't feel bad. That's why you are here. And you just gathered goods and sat down there. And he said, no. Do you not know? Let me tell you how the spirit of wisdom comes. It comes largely through scripture. You are sitting down wondering, why is my business not growing? For instance, Lord, why is this not? Write all the problems and then keep them before the Lord. Writing down the problems is proof that you expect an answer. Lord, I will wait. Speak to me. And one by one, his voice will start coming. How am I going to raise 1 billion, 10 billion for this project? And all that I have in my account, home and abroad, is 500,000. And the Holy Ghost comes with the spirit of wisdom. You don't need 10 billion. You only need men. Because money hides in men. So, don't think you cannot start the project because of money. Relationships are cheaper. Go and start learning how to build relationships. The spirit of wisdom. Are you getting what I'm saying now? And you get up and say, okay, Lord, what do I do? And he says, here's the deal. I will grant you favor and I will connect you with gatekeepers. Start from there. And the next thing you enter your office and a CEO that you have no business knowing. And you remember that was my deal. And because you have mastered relationships, you understand the law of honor. Good afternoon, sir. And the spirit of God rides through your understanding and makes the man to say, who are you? You're a young man. You look visionary. What do you do? He says, sir, well, we thank God. I'm, I'm still putting plans together. See me tomorrow. A connection has begun that will let her birth you to become a billionaire. When people ask you and you say, I don't know, you are right, but you are wrong. Don't tell them you don't know. It's a manifestation of the spirit of wisdom. One thing connecting to the other. Someone can sit down and your life is not moving forward and you sit down meditating. Lord, there has to be a way. No matter how long there is a way and I trust you. This is why I am here suddenly the spirit of wisdom comes breathes upon you james chapter 2 and verse 26 let me tell you why you have been failing there is no spirit component to what you are doing a body without a spirit is dead your shop is only a body there is no spirit back in it your political career is only a body there is no spirit back in it 
oh dear politician your intelligence is only a body there is no spirit back in it so when you introduce the spirit component to anything you are doing you now give it life wisdom has come to you the sacrifice of meditation number two how do you access the spirit of wisdom Luke chapter 21 and verse 15 let's look at amplify the ways that you access the spirit of wisdom listen carefully is as you open your mouth to speak by faith it says I will give you a mouth and such utterance and wisdom that all of your foes combined will be unable to stand or refute there are many times you have to go by faith you are in the boardroom and now you are about to speak and wisdom works like word of knowledge you at the point you do not even know what to say yet but by faith and in the name of jesus believing you have the investment of that spirit you open your mouth and you begin to communicate things that later on you will have to listen to what you said yourself because you know you are not the one speaking this is how many people got jobs they went by faith because the spirit of wisdom was there and they had all kinds of executives sitting there and they were standing there though shaking like a leaf they believed they were not alone young man what do you intend to do for this company and the person does not know what to say and suddenly here he comes and boldness and you begin to speak and articulate with such level of uncanny intelligence this is what i seek to bring this is what i seek to bring and they look at you and say where have you been when you go out of that place you can't even remember what you said open your mouth and i will feel it are you learning something when you open up your mouth matthew chapter 10 please from verse 19 and 20 when you speak and you make decisions you give room for the spirit of wisdom to come up it says but when they deliver you up take no thought how or what ye shall speak for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak verse 20 it says for it is not ye that speak hallelujah but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you i was in bonny bonny island a few maybe a month or two ago and i had a wonderful tour you know they just showed us the oldest cathedral and when they were talking about one i think it was uh, bishop joseph johnson now i think i hope i got that right and there was a pulpit there and uh, the people who were helping us with the tour were just explaining something that happened the guy prepared his notes and he was going to preach and i think something i don't know what it is that happened and maybe he lost his notes or something and he stood there he was shaking he did not know what to say and fire just came and the spirit of wisdom and revelation came upon that man and he began to speak that was how his first message came can I tell you, there are times you have to close your eyes by faith and just say something. You will find out that it did not come out as foolish as you thought it would be. Because the Holy Spirit edited it before it came out. Number three. How does the outworking of the spirit of wisdom how does it work creative thinking write it down innovative and creative thinking job chapter 32 and verse 8 this is the young man ellie who's speaking job 32 here's what he had to say but there is a spirit in a man or a man and the inspiration everyone please say inspiration creative thinking is powerful this is not about businessmen this is how the mind works the mind was designed to birth supernatural possibilities the moment you drop it in that atmosphere where there is an incubation of destiny altering ideas innovations creative thinking you're a leader here you're a captain of industry find time where you just move away from people and be alone and begin to think allow the holy spirit brood over your mind that's what it means to think creatively 
in the name of Jesus Christ what is the next step to this church what is the next step to this company what is the next step to preserving the purposes of God as committed to me and ideas begin to come from your spirit and then one of the ways that God brings draws out this manifestation of wisdom within us is through dreams and visions Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 please when the spirit of wisdom is at work in you do not downplay the power of dreams and visions God who at sundry times and in diverse manners listen carefully he spake in the time past unto the fathers by the prophets by the prophets so he used the prophetic he used dreams and visions i think it's um what's the scripture that says i have used similitudes i have multiplied visions similitudes you can go to bed and suddenly find yourself and the holy spirit is revealing this to you like he did to daniel in chapter 2 and verse 19 then the secret was revealed unto daniel was it not joseph that went to bed and had a dream and his whole destiny played before him i saw the sun the moon and 11 stars many of us lose touch we lose the opportunity to release the spirit of wisdom because when we get up with prophetic dreams and visions and encounters we do not document them let me tell you this every time you wake up and you find out that god gave you a dream that you know is prophetic you see the way dreams and visions we have a series on that the way dreams and visions work is you can see part one of that vision in 2017 and keep it the part two will come in 2022 and then you now join it and it makes sense if you do not respect the first part you will not see the second part dreams and vision seldom come complete they come in part because we see in part but you must respect the parts that god has shown you okay god told you you are getting into ministry but he did not tell you the kind of ministry he did not tell you the location he did not tell you the dimension respect the one you have seen so far write it down and start praying over it then another part will come god told you you are going to become a great politician you are going to lead nations you're going to lead territories he didn't tell you in what capacity respect the part he gave you and put it down he says write the vision write the vision before you write the vision, you must receive the vision. When you receive the vision, your next assignment is to write it down. Are we blessed? Very, very important. Dreams and visions. Now, Proverbs chapter 24 from verse 3 and 4. We're looking at the excellency as we prepare to pray now. The excellency of possessing or working in partnership with the spirit of wisdom. Number one, it says through wisdom is a house built and by understanding it is established. Please give us verse 3 in Amplified. Amplified. It says, through skillful and godly wisdom is a house, a life, a home, a family built. And by understanding, it is established on a sound and a good foundation. Anything is built by wisdom. Once it has to do with building, whether physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, anything that needs to be built, the architect is wisdom you cannot ignore wisdom and expect to build anything that lasts you want to build a ministry that lasts you want to build a business that lasts you want to build a kingdom influence that lasts it will come through the platform of divine wisdom now for study let's just look at one scripture first Kings chapter 3 now we'll look at verse 15 then we'll start from 16 down to 28 that will be our last scripture and then we'll pray now watch this so all that was happening 
was a dream by the time we get to 15 solomon woke up my god spiritual things are so powerful imagine if you were solomon's friend and both of you slept on the same bed you would not know that something of destiny value he would just wake up and stretch himself except that he's not the same person who went to bed and solomon awoke and behold it was a dream and he came to jerusalem watch this and stood before the ark of the covenant of the lord and offered up bond offerings what a man he offered bond offerings for the dream to come when he woke up he offered bond offerings for it to still begin to manifest he made a feast to all his servants next verse verse 16 now this will be the first test of the presence of this dimension of wisdom there's a lesson to learn here and we round up you can know that the spirit of wisdom has come upon you in solomon's case is about to be tested there came two women that were harlots unto the king and stood before him this is a difficult situation right now and the one woman said oh my lord i and this woman dwell in one house and i was delivered of a child with her in the house uh-huh and it came to pass the third day after i was delivered that this woman was delivered also and we were together there was no stranger with us in the house terrible because there is no witness now so this is a complicated case there's no witness save the two of us in the house 19 and this woman's child died in the night because she overlaid it that means she laid on the child till the child died are you following this difficult puzzle now and she arose at midnight and took my son from beside me huh while thy handmaid slept and laid it in her bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom are you following the story now and when i arose in the morning to give my child suck behold it was dead but when i considered it in the morning behold it was not my son which did bear 22. the other woman said nay but the living is my son and the dead is thy son and this said no but the dead is thy son and the living is my son and they spoke before the king Can you imagine such a situation? Two women come to you and they say, one, my child is dead, the other. Now, the king is about to demonstrate the all-surpassing excellence of this encounter. He's about to know and test for real whether this grace had truly come. Then said the king, the one saith, this is my son that liveth, and thy son is the dead. And the other saith, nay, but thy son is the dead, and my son is the living. The spirit of wisdom. Keep the scripture there. Let me teach you something to learn. Are you seeing that the king was in a situation right now that it was a dilemma? He was not in the room with them, and there was no witness, there was nobody to call. Only two women and their two sons. Now they are in a very serious argument. Whatever the king did at that point would go around the nation. He could lose his reputation at that point. What do you then do? There are times when the situation that stands before you defies what you know. It would defy what you studied. It would defy the physical connection. At that time, you will need to outsource the spirit of wisdom. Notice the character of the spirit of wisdom. Until the word of the Lord came, there was no way of discerning. But remember, that the word of the lord which is also this sword of the spirit is quick and powerful is sharper than any two-edged sword it is able to divide asunder the soul and the spirit and this sword that is the word is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the man immediately solomon stood he said i am confused there has to be a yastic bring me the word the moment he carried the word the spirit of wisdom was ready to walk they brought that sword it was the sword of the spirit which is the word of god watch this 
that means you work best in wisdom when you stay with the word of god the word of god reveals to you how god thinks and having the mind of christ enhances the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom this is very powerful bring me a sword and they brought the sword before the king now the word of god started testing them watch this the first test to know the real owner watch this now the first test was the test of love and the test of selflessness because all men have self and whoever is the owner of the child must love the child more than their self greater love had no man than this than a man lay down his life for his friend so he said we are going to divide the child in two we will give half to you and half to the other in other words we are going to destroy this vision we are going to destroy this a child yet does not just talk of a human being it can mean anything destroy this vision into half give one to the other give one to this verse 26 watch this then spake the woman whose the living child was unto the king for her bowels yearned upon her son are you seeing compassion and love the moment the word of the lord came into the equation the love test the self test it says oh my love please i love this vision more than my reputation let my reputation die but let the vision live and the king was looking said now we are knowing the real owner the word of god is fine is filtering this i love this son do not allow this son die that I, it took me a long time to have this son and i love him more than my reputation don't worry give the woman the most important thing is let the child live let the vision live the word of god the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart and in no wise slay it but the other said let it be neither mine or thine so the real issue was not about the child the real issue was about bitterness it was about envy it was about anger that i am not succeeding so kill this person's child too so that two of us can now not have a child 27 watch this and learn and the king answered and said now that i've used the passion test now that i've used the love test now that i've used the self test this is the real owner she is the mother thereof 28 the bible says and all israel this is the thing about wisdom all israel heard of the judgment which the king had judged and they feared the king for they saw that the wisdom was of god was in him to do judgment what did they see so wisdom can be seen when the wisdom of god rests upon your life you are not the only one who will know you have it everybody around you will know because of the excellence of the judgment that you have are you ready to pray we have about five minutes or so and we're going to pray passionately listen brothers and sisters every destiny here is at the mercy of the manifestation of this spirit upon it I'd, I'd like you to make sure your heart is open for the next five minutes because you are going to cry many of us are at points right now in our lives our ministries different areas of our lives and the cure to break that stagnancy is the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom the cure to foolishness foolish decisions recycling of pain wisdom lift your voice and begin to thank the lord for the word that you've heard tonight there is such a thing as the spirit of wisdom someone is praying all the overflows following online please pray the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom are you praying thank you father for your word tonight thank you jesus the spirit of wisdom upon my life upon my destiny in the name of jesus admit that you need wisdom higher than that which you have seen at work in your life 
it is only those who hunger and thirst that are filled i'd like you to pray in one minute and say father i declare my need i declare my need for wisdom that comes from above an impartation of this wisdom by the holy spirit i need it to walk in my destiny to walk in my relationships to walk in ministry to walk in governance in leadership oh. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. If any man lack results, let him ask of God. Are you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believe me when I tell you there is a relation. When one accesses this level of wisdom, there is no limit to how far your results can go. You see, the thing about wisdom is just when you think you have exhausted a level another layer of that wisdom is opened it is ever increasing glory by the wisdom of to see the manifestation of the wisdom of god providing supernatural solutions lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray the wisdom of God, the wisdom that comes from above, that is you, we are going to pray. I told you the spirit of God works, the spirit of wisdom works best upon and with a man who sustains the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ means that you have adopted his value systems as revealed from scripture you must listen you must be a student of scripture so that the holy spirit can find the tools that he will use to reveal the wisdom of god to you let this mind be in you philippians chapter 2 and verse 5 which was also in christ jesus permit this mind to be in you you must replace your thinking with the word of god believe me when i tell you that everything around your life will revolve around your belief system the wisdom of god presents the wisest perspective on all matters there are many perspectives but the wisdom of god presents the wisest perspective on all matters you are going to pray lord a passion for the word not only to study it but to have it in me not only to study it but to have it in me to become a living epistle when satan came to jesus the fountain of wisdom he replied by saying it is written even though the holy ghost was upon him but what came out was it is written there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and make you blessed there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and make you rise there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and connect you to strange relationships there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and bring you to greater levels of the anointing of influence of power there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and bring you increase in your organization hallelujah Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Now, if, if you allow me to do this, since I'm, I'm not here alone, I'm glad and honored that Apostle Goodhart is here. I, I didn't inform him, but I, I hope you're not embarrassed. I would want to plead with him, even if it's just for a minute, to just come. And now that there is such an anointing here, I'm going to ask him to come. I'm also going to plead that Reverend Akila come. He would just speak in one minute, just declaring the word of god and the power of god's wisdom to rest upon you and then reverend akila will declare and apostle goodheart will declare and i'll just round up will that be fine please let's honor the lord as the servants of god come up very quickly praise the name of the lord these are veterans of the gospel and reverend akila is going to speak over your life just receive these are men that have been helped by God in various capacities and we trust the workings of God upon their lives and they're going to be making declarations. Reverend Akila will just speak over your life and Apostle Goodheart is going to make that declaration and then we'll just wrap up. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name. 
Our Father, we thank you for this moment we share in your holy presence. Thank you for the word that has gone forth that will not return back void. May there be now a performance of your counsel which we have received tonight in the name of Jesus. I pray God grants you enlargement to receive more of his blessings, more of his word in the name of Jesus. By this declaration, we speak forth every Red Sea standing in front of you, letting us split in the name of Jesus. By the power of God, we command you to walk through dry land to arrive in your promised land in the name of Jesus. Every divine equipment it takes to bring to pass the performance of the counsel of God on your life, receive in the name of Jesus. By the workings of his great spirit, we bring your way the very resources that it takes to fulfill all his counsel for your life in the name of Jesus. By reason of the combined anointing in this place, now we pray, may your heavens remain perpetually open. May angels ascend and descend on your matter in the name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, it takes only one encounter to change the life of any man we believe that by the instrumentality of your word tonight your sons and daughters in this arena and the multitudes across the nations have had a definite encounter to bring about a change in our lives father thank you for divine suddenly from the first day of August in the year 2021. We decree and declare the change has come upon your people in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As your hand came upon one Elijah and guaranteed divine acceleration, guaranteed divine impetus, guaranteed divine speed, and gave such a one divine advantage by your hand that has come by the release of your word we decree and declare divine advantage upon this house in the name of the lord jesus christ by your mercy let the remaining five months of this year be the best of this year in the name of the lord jesus christ we decree and declare that the sound of jubilation, the sound of celebration, the sound of rejoicing will abide abound in our homes in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the power of the speakings of your blood, we decree and declare no occasion for tears, no occasion for sorrow, no occasion for fears, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody clap those hands. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now just standing still under this anointing, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, according to the measure of grace, the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom, that the Lord has so lavishly brought upon this ministry I decree even as we have received from those who have gone ahead of us in the name that is above all names receive from tonight the spirit of wisdom receive an impartation of the spirit of wisdom let it begin to manifest as extraordinary results in your life. The grace to make quality superior decisions that move you forward. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. 
by this impartation every mountain and every obstacle that stands before you in the name that is above all names we declare it shattered right now because you have believed i declare that you will begin to see it happen now that everyone around you will know for a shorty that you encountered the spirit of wisdom tonight hear me in your place of prayer as you meditate many of you the holy ghost will come to you like a mighty rushing wind he will show you the secrets of your destiny he will reveal to you the strategies and the blueprint for the next level of your life in the name of jesus and i declare that under the influence of the spirit of wisdom may 10 years be put in one month under the influence of the spirit of wisdom may 10 years be put in one month that by the end of august many of you would have made tremendous destiny advancements in the name of jesus christ oh may your ears hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walking in it and that you find rest by it for your souls in the name of jesus christ the lord will give you a wisdom he will give you a mouthpiece that no one can gain say nor resist in the name of jesus christ in your place of work your homes your ministries may men say what wisdom is this in the name of jesus christ the mighty works that accompany the spirit of wisdom may they begin to happen in your life from tonight and the rewards that follow wisdom in the name that is above all names may those rewards come upon you and overtake you in the name of jesus christ father we agree as a family of faith and we agree as the body of christ over this city over this nation over this continent that in a fresh dimension let there be an outpouring and a manifestation of the manifold wisdom of god according to ephesians chapter 3 and verse 10 to the intent that now let it be revealed by the church to principalities and powers the manifold wisdom of god lord this wisdom will be revealed in politics and governance and leadership and finances and relationships and career in the name of jesus christ every aspect of the believer's life will begin to excel on account of this baptism with the spirit of wisdom receive it now in the name of jesus christ amen and amen let's honor and celebrate the servants of god thank you sir thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my hands thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my hands the greatest wisdom that a man can show is to run to the fountain of wisdom himself the bible says thou art the fountain of wisdom it says in thy light we see light anyone who is not led by the fountain of wisdom is still in darkness there are people here following online and there are people scattered within this auditorium and all the auditoriums down to the basement some of you may be saying apostle i have heard you speak and i know that i need an encounter with jesus the fountain of wisdom or there are some of you who are saying i love jesus with all my heart but as it is right now i need to rededicate my life my ways to him you may have come from far and near let's minimize movement i'm about to make the altar call wherever you are we have just a minute or two for you i'd like you to run and just come and stand here as we celebrate the lord for your life it is because of you the lord put this meeting do not wait for someone to come win that war tonight are there people coming celebrate them as they come celebrate them as they come anyone listen don't sit back and say um 
I, I think I am all right. The moment, listen, the moment Jesus is not Lord of your life, you cannot access wisdom. Celebrate them as they come. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Run to Jesus, who is the fountain of wisdom. The Bible says, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of the Lord. The first wisdom is to receive the free gift of his life, translating you from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. If you're still coming, come quickly. If you're still coming, come quickly. Young and old alike come to Jesus. For as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away, the Bible says. All the overflows, just stand in front of your screen for time. And those following you, who is following in your home, your office, your living room, I'd like you to be prepared to pray this prayer also. I salute every one of you for coming to Jesus. He never sends people away. That you have come to him is proof that you are not a rebel. Rebels don't come to Jesus. They run away from him. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand, every one of you standing in front. And I'd like you to say this prayer after me. You're not reciting a poem. Jesus is here. Say after me, Lord Jesus. If you're joining them, please quickly come. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. And I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification tonight i declare that you are and you remain my savior my lord and my king i receive eternal life into my spirit i receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and i declare that i reign in life the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life now and forever amen keep your hands lifted father we thank you for these ones you have brought them by your spirit they have come to the fountain of wisdom jesus himself i decree and declare by the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven in the name of jesus from tonight the lord gives you a new beginning and i decree and declare that you are recipients of the life of God you are part of the family of faith and from today I declare that you go for whatever and backward never in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen thank you for making this wonderful decision now there are counselors waving the placard there I'd like you to please just follow them and there'll be a few people who will just talk to you Koinonia uh, please celebrate them celebrate every one of them the little one someone just help them make sure that there's someone watching over them praise the name of the lord hallelujah now please i i intended announcing this before i, I don't know how i forgot um from today we'll make it a point of duty the first the first koinonia service of every month uh, I know that we always fast, but the first koinonia service of every month, by the grace of God, automatically will be waiting upon the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. This is for our spiritual health. is is part of the training process to help us build capacity. Praise the name of the Lord. So, um, because we didn't do that today, we'll do it next week. Next week, you fast, you can break anything from 1-2 because of time. I know that it's usually... A tedious time those who can stretch it into the evening why not the reason why we fast is because the Bible recommends it to help us to access the spirit of revelation It's part of the spiritual training process praise the name of the Lord hallelujah and then do well to make sure that you do not come alone bring in as many people who need an encounter with Jesus the son of the living God the Lord bless you the testimonies from your life will show in Jesus name after the grace please do well to just greet one another on your way out and I want you to watch your steps so that you don't enjoy yourselves have you been blessed tonight let's share the grace in fellowship the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the fellowship of the Holy Spirit let it rest and abide with us now and forevermore amen God bless dearly beloved 
I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.